Can an ozone generator be used to fight the coronavirus? Let's find out in just a minute. Ozone gas, if you don't know, can be produced by a simple ozone generator available for sale online and often available at a local rental store. They're used in the fire and flood restoration industries to mitigate the smells caused by mold, mildew, and smoke. So will it work against the coronavirus? The answer, technically yes, but practically speaking, no. Let's dig in and find out exactly why. Technically, yes. Ozone gas has been found to kill some strains of the coronavirus in a controlled laboratory setting with very specific environmental conditions. Practically speaking, however, there are just so many variables, not to mention health risks, that it's just not a good idea. The variables include the size, temperature, and humidity of the room in question, as well as the size, condition, and type of the ozone generator that's being used. In addition to that, different surfaces provide different levels of protection to contaminants. So a very porous surface allows bacteria and viruses to get really deep into that surface and provide some amount of protection from the ozone gas. When we look at health risks, this is where it really gets tricky. We know that the coronavirus, COVID-19 or the SARS virus, whatever you want to call it, is primarily a respiratory disease. Ozone gas also, if inhaled at high doses, causes inflammation in the lungs. So in the fight against a respiratory disease, the worst thing we can use is a gas that causes respiratory inflammation, thus decreasing our ability to fight the disease that we're trying to fight. I wish I could offer this little black box as a cure for all airborne diseases, but I can't. There simply isn't enough research out there to prove its effectiveness, and there are some very known real health risks. So for now, it looks like we're stuck with the sanitary practices that are known to work. That's all for today. If you want to know more about ozone generators, why they work, and how to use one, I'll include a link on the next screen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.